We were given 4 new leaks for episode 2 with the last leak being the most important. And starting with leak number 1, it turns out the creator behind the show decided to give us an inside look into Gangle's character that we were also given an update for. Originally we were given this new post that read, Look out Pomni, she's right behind you. Showing off both Ragatha and Pomni from the new episode as well as a new version of Gangle that we've actually never seen before. It turns out this new version of the character is something we saw teased secretly in the Amazing Digital Circus Christmas promotion where we see that Gangle was actually given a replacement mask for the one that was broken in the earlier pilot episode at the very beginning that we can assume she took from Zubal and has been wearing up into this next episode. We're also given an update towards this strange new look for Gangle that leads us to the idea that she may end up being bad. As it turns out, this new mask we saw her with matches up with the other masks for the character that we'll be revealing later on. But first, we're given evidence from Gooseworks herself who tells us specifically in the earlier caption that Pomni is meant to watch out for Gangle, as if she might do something bad when she's not paying attention for some reason. But why would Gangle do this? Well, going back to the other secret masks for Gangle that we've never seen revealed in an actual episode yet, it turns out we're able to find some of the other broken happy masks taped back together, some masks split in half with missing pieces, and this one specifically. While we're not exactly clued into what this new mask is meant to be, we know that it could very well lead to some bad new emotions that overcome Gangle if she ever decides to put on this same mask again. While there's a chance of something bad happening with her character that would lead to Gooseworks writing in a little warning in this caption. But we're given a second leak for the next episode that's actually been hiding in plain sight this entire time. It turns out on top of the fact we were given a first look into the next Amazing Digital Circus adventure in the Candy Canyon Kingdom with this image from the earlier teaser, we were also able to locate another secret from the same image that connects to another image we were given early for episode too. It turns out very, very far off into the distance here, we're able to locate a small character that's pretty hard to miss. If you can't exactly tell, this is actually meant to be one of the characters we've already seen keeping watch over the kingdom as some sort of guard. That's why they're standing right in front of the entrance. And we're able to confirm by the additional leaks for episode 2 that we were given that it turns out this character is actually meant to be Gummy Goo, who we saw in this teaser shot that actually gave us more information about the upcoming character than we originally thought. For starters, we're able to tell from the background of this original image that it actually perfectly matches up with the same background from the entrance of the Candy Canyon Kingdom in the first place. The confirmation that tells us it was Gummy Goo who is keeping watch by the entrance. This all comes together to tell us that it's likely during the start of their adventure, the main characters of the Digital Circus are going to be arriving at the kingdom, only to have to find a way past the sheriff who's keeping watch. And as for the third leak into episode 2, it turns out we're told what's actually meant to happen in this episode based on this early depiction of Pomni with a confused expression. Based on the other secret information we're given about this next show, this expression matches up with what we're expecting this next mission in the Candy Canyon Kingdom to actually be. The gang is going to be sent into this new location in order to rescue Ragatha from the canyons on the side of the Candy Canyon Kingdom. We know because based on this early depiction of the adventure that Ragatha is actually nowhere to be seen on the carriage entering the Candy Canyon area. But based on this early teaser shot, we know that she's supposed to be there on the carriage at some point. The background of the image tells us that she somehow meets back up with them in the actual canyon. So the only explanation here would be that the gang is going off to the canyons in order to actually find and rescue her. This adds up with the fact that Ragatha seemed very agitated and distressed in the teaser with not much of an explanation for why she's upset in the first place. But as for the most important episode 2 leak of all, it turns out we were given a new look into the episode's main villain that the group is going to have to be dealing with. In the pilot episode, they had to deal with an abstracted Kofmo, and in episode 2, we know that the fudge monster seems like our best option. 
but this leaked information actually reveals everything about this monster in the first place. That starts with what Gooseworks ended up telling us behind the scenes. She responded to a fan who commented on the reveal of this strange new fudge monster, who said, I hope he's not too greedy in quotes, which, if you don't know, is actually a reference to another specific cartoon villain that has a lot of similarities to the Amazing Digital Circus in the first place. Greedy, like the comment says, is actually a villain that popped up in a movie starring Raggedy Ann and Andy. He was an orange blob made out of taffy candy with candy cane for teeth that actually had a ton of similarities to this new antagonist of the Amazing Digital Circus. Obviously, for starters, they're both made out of candy, but Gooseworks herself actually gave us more information about the whole situation by responding to this original comment with, he never gets enough, which confirms to us that this character is meant to be based off of this other bad guy from the movie starring Raggedy Ann and Andy. But what does this tell us about the fudge monster we're expecting to see in episode 2? Well based on these early messages we can assume fudge monster's personality will also be based on this Raggedy Ann and Andy monster. It was confirmed behind the scenes already that the show's creator had made some of the main cast members to also be based off of Raggedy Ann and Andy in the first place with both Jax and Ragatha and also had been planning more references that were going to be thrown in the Amazing Digital Circus in some way. And this new connection tells us that we're going to see just that with this new monster. The monster he's based on has been described as being very greedy as well as doing anything He's kinda nice, but will still do anything for candy. So, translating this information over to the Amazing Digital Circus, you know that this new fudge monster is purely driven by its love for candy. He will do anything for it. And based on where we find the fudge monster in the first place, the canyon section of this new episode 2 location, it's likely that the fudge monster is going to be the one who captured Ragtha in the first place. Holding her hostage in the canyon, as, again, we know she was mysteriously missing at the beginning of the adventure, until this fudge monster is given more candy as a trade that would allow him to give her back to them. Why she ended up more angry with the others for how long the trade ended up taking in this later teaser that shows Ragatha finally reuniting with the others. But it turns out we're also able to get a complete first look into this next episode too that starts with the reveal of the secret main character of the episode 2 story. Gooseworks told us that the star of episode 2 was meant to be a completely new character one that's been a secret this whole time, but it turns out I'm able to fully put together this secret for you in this video right here. So for everything new towards the Amazing Digital Circus, make sure to check it out.